Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Today I've got a mini haul that I'm gonna do some first impressions on. I've got five fragrances here, so I'm gonna crack into each one of these, give my initial thoughts on them, and maybe just, you know, have a conversation with you guys about flankers, fragrance flankers. So let's open these up, give them a smell, and uh, see how I like them, at least first impression wise. So the fragrances I've got here today, the new Issey Miyake Nui DC Pulse of the Night, Davidoff Run Wild, Guerlain Lome Ideal Cool, and then two pineapple vintage fragrances, Emperor Napoleon and Intense Gold. Now, interestingly enough, uh, I have not received anything from pineapple vintage, parfums vintage, for a number of months, for quite a while. And what happened was uh, on my Facebook group, I said that I was not interested and reviewing Aventus clones, one after the other, after the other, after the other, because, I mean, how many Aventus clones are there on the market at this point? Like 50, uh, maybe more, especially when you consider the niche fragrances that are inspired by Aventus, you know, fragrances that a fragrance brand might release and come up with a story on it and say, oh, we're inspired by this, that, and the other, and then it smells like Aventus. You know what I'm talking about. You know some of the fragrances out there that are like that. So at some point, you just get bored of it all. I mean, do you really want 30 Aventus clones in your collection? Probably not. So I really wasn't interested in that deluge of Aventus clones, but I've got a couple new Aventus clones here. I don't know anything about these. I haven't really kept up with uh, Parfums Vintage, if I'm being honest. But I do want to thank them for sending these to me. It was kind of a surprise to get these. I didn't expect it at all. So we have Emperor Napoleon and Intense Gold. I do not know uh, what either of these are supposed to smell like. I am assuming these are both Aventus clones because they're both Pineapple Vintage. So if it says Pineapple Vintage instead of Parfums Vintage, that means that this is uh, another take on Aventus. So Emperor Napoleon, I just sprayed that one right here on this tester strip. Emperor Napoleon. It smells like a, a lemony, fruity Aventus. And now we'll spray Intense Gold so that I can compare. So I guess Intense Gold is going to be a flanker of the original Intense, which was a flanker of the original Classic. So that means we have now reached flanker of a flanker of a clone, which maybe if we can get like intense gold extreme or something like that, we'll enter a flanker of a flanker of a flanker of a clone and then open up a black hole and destroy the earth. Give it a spray. I'll tell you guys that pineapple vintage intense was my wife's favorite pineapple vintage. Uh, she loved that fragrance slash loves that fragrance. It's her favorite Parfums Vintage release. From the tester strip, I like Pineapple Vintage Intense more than Intense Gold. So I'm gonna spray this on skin, see how it smells off skin. So smelling off my skin, I can tell you hands down, I like the original Pineapple Vintage Intense more. Pineapple Vintage Intense just is a better fragrance all the way around, at least going off of this initial opening off my skin. This one does not have that really pleasant, sweet, juicy pineapple accord that my bottle of Pineapple Vintage Intense has, which is an older bottle. Uh, I've seen people online complain that newer bottles don't smell the same as old ones, that there's a difference. I can't verify that. So take this with a grain of salt. I cannot verify this. I do not have a new bottle of Pineapple Vintage Intense. But people uh, on Facebook groups, and in forums that say that they have the original or had the original Pineapple Vintage Intense and now have either run out or purchased a backup bottle and bought a new bottle, uh, that there's a difference, that the new Pineapple Vintage Intense is not as good. I can't confirm, again, because I don't have a new bottle, but if that's true, that would be really interesting since the whole reason that Pineapple Vintage started uh, was because of Creed Aventus batch variations. It does smell like a denser fragrance, uh, like there's more concentration here than in the original Pineapple Vintage Intense, like a high concentration, but it doesn't really work together. It's kind of hard to describe just off of like a first impression. So I could give this wearing and it could smell better down the road, but right now it smells like uh, it doesn't have any of that bite, any of that 
any of that pop that you would expect from an Aventus style fragrance. It doesn't grab you with a really juicy note. It doesn't have any bitterness, any tartness to offset any of the attempted sweetness. And then uh, the smoke again, very muddied. The woods here, very muddled. And uh, smelling Emperor Napoleon again here. Extremely fruity sweet. A noticeable, at least off a tester strip, lack of uh, woodiness or any kind of smoke. Uh, essentially, it smells like if you took the opening of the pineapple vintage fragrances, you turned up that sweetness, that syrupiness uh, to 11, and then killed basically everything from the mid down to the base. That's what it smells like off a tester strip. Thank you again to Parfums Vintage for sending these to me, but for me personally, um, I wouldn't wear either. Intense Gold smells a lot better off the tester strip than it does off skin after it dries down a little bit. I'll have my wife check those out later on, but for now I'm gonna press on with this. Guerlain Lome Ideal Cool. This is one that I've actually wanted for a long while, ever since it was announced, because this is a line that I really, really love. And I know that fragrances at this point are just out of control with flankers or fragrance houses, but this is one that does sound really appealing to me, so I'm excited for it. And let's guess what the next Lome Ideal fragrance will be. Will it be Lome Ideal Absolute? Lome Ideal Extreme? Lome Ideal Intense? Oh wait, there already is one of those. Maybe Lome Ideal Privé. Anyway, let's check this one out. It smells really good, it has mint, it has that almond that you would expect from the Ideal line. At the same time, off a tester strip, there's almost a menthol-y kind of quality to it. And now that menthol is kind of dissipating and burning off. This is a fragrance line, like I said, that I love. And I've got to tell you guys, this one smells really good too. If you like this line, I can't imagine that you're going to dislike this fragrance. Now, obviously I just opened it and sprayed it onto a tester strip. I have no clue about performance, dry down, or how it wears off skin, but smelling it off here, thumbs up. That one is going to slot above Ideal Sport as far as uh, summer wear goes, pretty easily in my opinion. I'm not sure about whether this is going to end up above Cologne or not, Lome Ideal Cologne. I would have to give them, give this one rather, more wearings, but this is promising. I'm gonna start wearing this one probably today and see if I can't get a review out on this because that's just super appealing at, at first blush. Let's check out this Davidoff Run Wild. Now this one has gotten a lot of hate online. People have been crapping on it, not giving it very much love. So I'm not sure what to expect. Here we go. Davidoff Run Wild. The bottle design is a little bit like if you took cool water and you smushed it down and then it widened out. Well, that's interesting. That actually isn't that bad. It has an interesting open to me. It's it's obviously got a synthetic feel to it. Um, that's without doubt. This doesn't smell like some supernatural fragrance or anything like that. But it's not really unappealing. I'm trying to place this scent. It's, um, it has ginger and lavender that you pick up on pretty much right away. Uh, again, with the synthetic feel, it's got some sweetness to it. Little bubble gummy. Just off the top of my head, it's almost like you took the Invictus DNA and instead of making it a more aquatic bubblegum scent, you made it more of a green bubblegum scent. Not at all a realistic green. There's nothing herbaceous here at all. Just like a synthetically sweet green fragrance with lavender and ginger off the top. I don't hate it, but I'm gonna have to actually wear it before I decide whether it's good or not. It's just kind of in limbo right now. It's strange. There are parts of it that I think are a little interesting, a little intriguing. Other parts of it I think suck. So kind of in the middle, but honestly, nowhere near as bad at least off a tester strip, as what it says on Fragrantica. All right, last up, this one, Nuit DC Pulse of the Night. Check that out. The bottle actually looks pretty slick, I've gotta say. I really like the matte finish on here. And this is yet another flanker. So that would mean the only one here that it's not a flanker is this one, Run Wild. That smells pretty damn good. That is really nice. Out of everything here, that is easily the best thing that I've smelled. Yeah, that is nice. Like some Isimiyaki fragrances suck. 
some Isimiyaki fragrances are just really boring and like a throwaway release and you almost wonder why did you even make this because it's just bland and has no personality, has nothing that draws you to it. This is actually very, very nice. Like, I could smell this all day. It has like a, a resinous, ambery, sweet incense opening. It's not too smoky at all. It's not overpowering. It smells way, way higher quality than what you would expect. Like this smells like a, a very expensive fragrance. Some of you will remember the Isimiyaki uh, Ombre fragrance that got hyped. It was, uh, it was found at some TJ Maxx's across the US and people scooped it up and then people were talking about how awesome it is and the price has skyrocketed on eBay. It's still difficult to find. This is easily on par with that in terms of quality, at least off a tester strip, uh, first impression. Yeah, that is a fine, fine fragrance. I would be very surprised if upon further wearings, if this one slipped down at all. I feel like just going off of that, that opening, um, I can tell what kind of quality I'm dealing with in this one, and that smells really fantastic. Thumbs up, thumbs up. This Loam Eddie All Cool, now that this has dried down a little bit, much better than in the initial opening. The mint has toned down a little bit. It's a little overbearing initially. Like I said, it comes across almost menthol-y in the very initial opening, but now it's got this nice tinge of sweetness to it without coming across like an overly sweetened synthetic, uh, sometimes almost syrupy mint that some fragrances will get. This one smells like it's done right. So yeah, the, the two out of all these that are the best in my opinion are these. These are really nice smelling initial impressions. Flankers, 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 flankers. And I'll go back and hit these one last time. Emperor Napoleon, about, about the same as before, just really sweet, intense gold almost like a little floral aspect coming out there, uh, but still I think Intense, the original is better. And Run Wild. Again, I think it's not that bad. Not like what you see online. You see people online saying that this is absolute trash, but then you have people all over the place wearing Invictus, Invictus Aqua, Invictus Legend, Invictus Intense, Zara Wanted, and those all, you know, get lots of love. And then this is getting hated on. Nah, nah, it's not that bad. At least if you like any of those fragrances, then I think you would like this one as well. I don't see that you wouldn't. It doesn't smell any lower quality, at least off a tester strip than those. And honestly, it smells off a tester strip more wearable than Invictus does to me. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, expect some reviews on these in the future. Let me know which of these you wanna see a review on first, and I'll prioritize that one. I'll probably put a poll up on my channel, just make it easier instead of having to comment and you know, read through all those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. You guys rule. I'll see you guys again next time with another fragrance video. See you guys.